What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. Today I have for you another League of Minecraft video and this time it's about towers or turrets and some more additions to the minions. And this is the redstone I have here. But uh, first of all, I want to show you um, this tower building. Uh, it was built by Team Viron. The, their YouTube channel and Planet Minecraft is in the video description. I think they did a very good job and so I'm just going to get some minions there to show you what it's doing. I'm just spawning some back there and as you can hear I also added some sounds and uh, some of the sounds are the minion sounds, the ones that you hear very frequently and whenever they have these particles above their head um, I'm just going to game or two. Whenever they have these particles on your head, on the head, uh, it means that they attack. And you can also hear the other sounds. Um, these are the sounds from the turret. And you, you, you heard it. Now I'm targeted by the turret, and it deals massive damage. But uh, if I hit it here, you see there are these wither skulls for a very short duration always. Um. I can actually reduce its health, you can see it up there in the um, boss bar. I basically simply used a wither boss like I showed in my last video. And yeah, it's pretty awesome because if I do scoreboard objective set display sidebar tower health, you can see the tower now has 1661 health. and. Whenever it uh, reduces by 100, the bar up there um, reduces once. Okay, and if I have these minions there, and they're going to reduce the tower health too, as you can see um, right there on the scoreboard. And also, there's something pretty nice. If I spawn some red minions and they automatically walk around the tower um, until they see one of these uh, blue minions and they attack it too. And yeah. So the blue minion got heavily attacked and if I stand here now, since I'm team blue, you see now I get withered because that was a suggestion by some of you guys, obviously, because poisoning does not kill a player. Okay, and uh, you see, it reduces the tower health by less if I only use a wooden sword and critical hits deal more damage and so on. But yeah, I'm going to show you that later. Okay, um, so there are four spots in which you can hit uh, the tower, once here, 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 and here, and I'm just going to join the team red, so it does not always try to attack me. Okay, here's some slimes. This is not wanted, they should not be able to escape, but yeah. Um, okay, so this is the redstone for the tower. Um, I'm, it's easily for me to copy paste the towers later. Uh, and simply change some of the values and back there we have some more redstone for all of the towers and here we have some additional stuff for the minions for example here the particles some teleportation adjustment and the attack sound I added a resource pack to the map so it now has the League of Legends sounds in it and yeah that's pretty awesome okay so let me first start with the movement. This was probably one of the biggest parts. So when a red minion is here, um, it moves automatically around the tower and then continues its way here. I can just uh, show that once. You see they move around there and these colors are not needed but I added them uh, to show 
how the uh, how it how the movement works. Um, yeah, so every of these colors means a different teleportation direction. So let's first start with the pink one. This basically means that only members of the red team get teleported to positive x, which is in the left direction. So when a red minion comes here, it um, makes one step um, towards positive x. And then here we have the orange one, which teleports every blue minion to negative x, meaning in this direction, and every red minion in this direction. So if there is a blue minion, first it gets only teleported left here, then it moves, then it stops getting teleported, and so on. So yeah, that's how this works. Um, I have some uh, red uh, command blocks down here, which basically give the B, N, R, and X score, for example, which means blue negative, red negative in the X direction, meaning uh, every entity which has this score gets teleported um, 0 0.1 blocks to negative um, X if it's in the blue team or uh, also negative if, if it's in the red team. And what we have here is just basically a very fast clock which replaces uh, every sponge with redstone block. You can just show that. Um, basically I placed some sponge blocks there and they get replaced with redstone blocks every tick. So if I just do say one, uh, it gets powered all the time. Okay, so that's simply how this works. Uh, for every of these places, um, the minions get a score which tells them that they should move aside and it um, simply guards them around the tower. Okay, uh, this was a lot of work and I think it was the main part. Then, um, how can I deal damage to the tower? Well, you see, um, if I just stand here, I make 8 damage. But if I do crits, crits, I deal 12 damage. And this is... What I'm dealing damage to actually is... A uh, slime named one riding a wither skull. And this wither skull uh, makes that the slime can't move. And this is just a very fast fill clock. And what I do here is um, I set for every slime, which is in a radius of 25, which means it's uh, around uh, the tower and has a name of one. Um, it sets the health loss score for 1 if its absorption amount is 99. Um, meaning, when I spawn the slime, its, its absorption amount is at 100. And if I deal 1 damage to it, for example using my fist, um, its, uh, its health loss score gets set to 1. So, you see, using my fist I only deal 1 damage, which is half a heart. And yeah, so I have one of these command blocks for every health loss up to, I think, yeah, up to 20. So if it's, its absorption amount is at 80, um, its health loss is getting set to 20. And then, after that, mm, it's going to reduce the tower health score. So it's this is a bit more of an advanced command. It executes for every slime, which has a health loss score of at least one, um, scoreboard player's operation to the tower, which is named tower R1. I can actually do um, type minecart rideable to make it um, less dependent on the name. Scoreboard player's operation, and it reduces the tower health by its own value of health loss. So this is just some scoreboard player's operation. Stefan helped, helped me with that. Thanks. And so if its health loss score got set to 15, the tower health is going to be reduced by 15 and so on. And the tower uh, we are talking about, which score just uh, stores the variables, is this minecart here, um, which is simply writing with a skull and has the custom name tower R1. Okay, and then after reducing the tower health, uh, what basically happens is it simply updates the boss bar every tick. And it, use, uh, it does block data um, for the tower. 
and it sets its uh, heal F, meaning the health of the wither gets set depending on uh, the tower health score of the minecart. So if the tower health score is uh, between 1501 and 1600, its heal F is going to be set to 240. I j simply wrote um, a Java script for that to generate the comments easily. And then it's going to uh, kill the wither skull if the, um, the slime has a health loss score. And then it's going to summon a new slime and remove itself. So, yeah. Okay, so this is how the damage reduction works. I can even use bows, it's pretty cool, to reduce the tower health. Yeah, so this is definitely definitely going to be a very cool thing. So if I now just hop there and slay the tower down to uh, no health, a cool animation is going to be triggered. Um, this is why I'm doing it manually. Uh, okay, here we go. You heard it? Uh, this was the tower destruction sound and it actually replaced the tower model with a destroyed one. And this is what happens down there. If the um, tower has a health, a negative health score, um, uh, the health is obviously going to be set to zero and it's going to clone the destroyed tower model from down there. I have for both team colors I have a tower model and I'm simply using the clone command to replace the structure which is pretty awesome. And then teleporting all of the slimes down and the skulls to uh, remove them so you can't deal any more damage to the tower. And then I'm playing the sound turret dying. I, I, I added this to the resource pack too. And yeah. So after that I set the tower health to minus 101, meaning that this stuff only gets executed once. And this is all about the towers already. Um, this is how they work. And uh, now there is still the attacking stuff of the towers, of course. I did not mention that yet. Let me just revive the tower. Test for life again. And here we again have just a fill clock. And this is a bit more complicated. I left some space here for the other towers because that's needed. Okay, now, sorry if I'm not good at explaining this because it's uh, very complicated, but I'll try my best. Okay, so there are several scores in the scoreboard. Uh, currently there are 32, but um, the ones relevant are tower targeted and tower targeting. Meaning tower targeted is a score a player can have and tower targeting is a score a tower can have. And it's first in the first tick it's going to reset the near player score for every tower. Um, the tower is always the minecart rideable. And then it's going to reset its tower targeting score. Then it's going to reset its near minion score. And again we have uh, the attack cooldown which gets reduced every tick like I showed you last time with the minions. And however, now um, uh, what I have is there are two two options if a player is near the tower. First, um, it has not been notified that it's getting targeted and it has to be notified by this alert sound or it's still in the radius and still getting targeted and will not get the alert sound or there are minions nearby and the tower does not care about the player. And first it's, we're going to test if um, there's a minion nearby near the tower and um, then uh, we need to do the same for the blue tower of course. This was a male and then we're going to see if the tower already targets a player and this is an execute command for every player which is of the enemy team and in the uh, defined location meaning it's near the tower and then it sets 
if it had if it was already targeted um, in the tick before I'm going to get to that later um, it's going to set the tower targeting score to 1 meaning the tower now knows that it has already been targeting the player then uh, I do the same for all of the other towers and then we're going to reset tower targeted for the players um, meaning the player now forgets if he is targeted and then uh, we set if he is newly targeted meaning the tower um, is not tower targeting meaning um, this command block was not executed then he's newly targeted and his tower targeted score gets set to 2 otherwise his tower targeted score gets set to 1 again and then basically for every player which is newly targeted it sets the targeted score um, to 2 and then plays the turret.alert sound okay and then every player who is targeted by the tower I could actually do at A there um, I sets the near player score for the tower to 1 meaning um, the tower now knows that it's near a player and then if there is no mini nearby as you can see back there um, we set if there's a mini nearby where did I do that did I ah no I did not sorry um, first um, I'm out of the concept Okay, so it tells the tower if there's a player nearby, and if there is no player nearby, uh, but rather a minion, I said that um, earlier, and the attack cooldown is at zero, it's going to damage an enemy zombie using instant health. And the same obviously happens for the other team, but if there is no minion nearby and the player is targeted, um, then it's going to give the instant damage effect to the player. Okay, and the same for the other team too. Then it plays the turret attack sound um, to every player in a radius so he can hear it. Um, if, if there is a minion nearby and also if there is no minion nearby. And then it sets the tower attack cooldown to 35 which is um, nearly 2 seconds because otherwise the tower would simply be too OP um, if he can attack every se every single second. So, yeah. This is basically the logic behind the towers. It was a lot of work. I spent several days into this. And thanks for watching again. Um, let me just get into Game Boy 2. Scoreboard teams join red, blue. And... Let me die after this zombie. See you in the next video. Bye.